everyone. My name is Robin and thank you for stopping by Happy at Home. I thought today I would share with you my home filing system. I've been using the same system for about five years now and I absolutely love it. I wouldn't change a thing about it. It works so well for me. It is easy to maintain. It is easy to use and it's always accessible for me. So I thought in case any of you need a similar system or are struggling with you know all those papers that come into our house every month maybe I can help you out a little bit and you could get some ideas from this so let's get started because I don't have an office I use a corner of my kitchen as like my office area <laughs> so I bought two wall pockets from office max to hold my filing system so I'll show you a clip of my office corner. This large countertop in my kitchen is normally where I sort through the paperwork and the bills. And tucked into the corner is some wall pockets that holds my filing system. Okay, so for the supplies that I need for my filing system, the first thing I need are file folders. I bought these from Target. They're on black and they've got gold polka dots and then some also have like gold stripes. So that's the first thing I need. And then the second thing I need is a file envelope. I don't know if that's what they're called, but that's what I'm going to be calling it. This is a red one. I picked it up also at Target. It's by Five Star. And it's just basically elastic closure. And then it's got 13 pockets inside. So that is what I use for my second item for my filing system. Okay, so let's get into the nitty gritty of my file system. So let's start with the, the file folders. I use the file folders to organize anything that does not need to be stored long term. By that I mean field trip forms, coupons, paint chip colors, that sort of thing. So I have seven folders that I use. I have an envelope folder which I keep you know, if I need to send something out, I have some envelopes. I have a coupon folder, which I put all the coupons that I want to use in. I have a medical folder. That's for if um, one of my daughters has a reoccurring prescription that I need to keep the prescriptions in a safe place. Those go in there. If, you know, I've got to schedule a appointment, you know, three months from now. I'll put the card in the medical folder and then when it's time to make the appointment, I'll make the appointment off of that. I also have a decorating folder. In that, in that folder, I keep all of the paint chips for the paint colors that I currently have on the walls. I also keep anything like, I don't know, like I'll find something in a magazine and I want to make it or if I want to use it as a reference, I'll throw it in there until I completed the project and then I'll toss it. So that's what the decorating folder is for. I also have a miscellaneous folder. I don't think I have anything, I don't have anything in the miscellaneous folder, but I have it just in case. And then let's see what else do I have. Oh, I also have a household folder. This one is just like, I keep phone numbers for the kids, like the kids' friends, stuff like that. I don't know. There's not very much in it. Basically, anything that has to do with the household that I don't need to keep long term, I'll stick it in there. And then finally, I have one that's named school. I keep the current school calendar in there. I keep the field trip forms, anything related to school that is not something that I need to keep, I'll put in there and periodically just weed out the stuff I don't need anymore. So that is how I use the file folders. Moving on to the file envelope. Now this is where the magic happens, folks. I have 13 pocket one. There are many different styles. I like the plastic outside ones. I've had a paper ones in the past and I don't care for them. They just aren't as durable. So I prefer the plastic ones. You can get them in many different pocket sizes, but I found that the 13 pocket works great for my household. Okay, so the new gear comes, I get a new, I get a new envelope, write the date on it, label my tabs, and I'll link below, I'll put in the description box below, I'll write out the different tabs that I have in case you're wondering. I put the new tabs in alphabetical order, and as things come into my house, as I sort through the mail, things go directly into here. I just grab it off the wall, 
and fill it up. A new insurance policy comes, goes under insurance. New bank statement, under financial. Any retirement forms? Retirement. You know, stuff like that. Medical receipts, manuals for a new blow dryer, I'll go in here and I put it on my in my wall pocket. That way it's super handy when I want when I need to put new stuff in it. It's handy for when I need something out of it. Like say my husband needs to um, do the taxes. He grabs the folder and he goes to and does the taxes. I don't have to do anything about it except for put the stuff in here. It's beautiful. So basically that is the system that I use. It seems overly simplified and almost shouldn't be called a system, but it is and it's what's working for me and it has been working for the last five years. So I haven't changed anything. Um, I love the system so much. It is so easy to use. It is easy to maintain. It's just, it's just lovely. So anyways, at the end of the year, we'll get a new folder and this, this file folder will get taken downstairs to my husband's room and down and added to the previous years. So we have like five years worth of envelopes down there. And it is so nice because you can just grab, oh, what year did we buy something? You know, what buy do, where did we buy the refrigerator? We just grab the folder for that year and we can easily find the receipt, the manual, everything's all in one place and it makes things, makes life easy. All right, so that is all that I have to share with you guys today. Thanks so much for stopping by today. I really appreciate it. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. And if you haven't already, please subscribe and give me a thumbs up. I will talk to you later. Bye.